I certainly think couponing works. I'm not so sure digital couponing works. Let me explain. Um, the recent Old Spice promotion, uh, everybody's aware of it. You know, they, they recorded videos, personalized, and put those out on Twitter answering people's questions. It was later discovered that Old Spice was running a two-for-one coupon promotion at the same time. Many people believe the coupons are actually what caused the bump in sales from the promotion. Now, the Old Spice Twitter thing was picked up by the media. That may have driven awareness. And when people went into the store, it made them look at Old Spice. But people believe the two-for-one coupon promotion is actually what made them decide to purchase. Um, so that works. That's old school. That's traditional coupons. Digital coupons are a little bit different. Um, for instance, the camera I'm filming this on is a Canon 7D, which I purchased last week. When I registered that camera with Canon, I received a 15% discount on products in the Canon store. When the, a couple of days later, I decided to purchase a lens hood for my, my camera lens, and I searched on B&H Photo, I searched on Amazon, uh, I did some searches on Google, and I finally found a lens hood and made a purchase. I didn't go to the Canon store and forgot about the 15% discount. In fact, I just remembered it this morning and my lens hood is already shipped. And I bought a generic lens hood and I could have probably bought a Canon hood for the same price or maybe even less with the coupon. You see, digital coupons work, I believe, on uh, spur of the moment impulse buys. If you're doing planning and you're doing a lot of research back and forth online, the coupons aren't always available at different stores, and you simply forget because it's one too many variables to keep track of. That's my take.